This is Anthony Ciappone with Shogu Professional. Welcome to Tech Talk. So I want to show you our new offerings in the RIM product line. The RIM product line consists of the RIM 1 for indoor applications, the RIM 3 IP for outdoor IP applications, uh, two new uh, rig bars to support the RIM, as well as the new MX40 Pro Novastar processor to support all the back-end uh, performance software features. Let's go ahead and take a look at the RIM 1. Starting from the top, we have uh, the magnetic assisted hanging right here that consists of two high strength magnets and two alignment pins. Um, on the corner here, we have these uh, corner protection uh, parts. These are spring-loaded protection parts that are designed to protect the most vulnerable section of your panel during transportation. Continuing down, uh, we have uh, a center handle as well as two side handles uh, to accommodate your preference when hanging these. Uh, we have uh, PowerCon in. This is the Ctronic True One PowerCon in and through as well as the EtherCon in and through on the bottom. Um, this entire control box is really easy to replace for service purposes. It is a toolless operation. We've got two latches on the side, two latches on this side, and it pops right off. Really easy to use. Um, moving on to the latches. Uh, we've got two female latches on the top that connect to your rig bars for your top row if you're hanging overhead. We've got two male latches on the bottom that continue to link down. Uh, in addition to that, we've got two uh, male latches on the left side here, as well as two female latches on the right. These are a fantastic offering that we're adding to the entire rim product line. We are now, instead of offering uh, an accessory like we've done in the past, we're now offering included and integrated curving hardware. So we can do both concave and convex curving with rim. Curving hardware is really easy to use. Um, all you gotta do is uh, flip this lever up right here, turn it to the position. The positions are spring-loaded and notched, so when you get close to the position, it'll pop into place, as noted by that noise. You can hear the clicking noise as I turn it. When you've achieved the desired angle, which is marked on each of these positions, just press this down gently with your thumb, and you're good to go. You can do both five and 10 degree concave curves, as well as two and a half and five degree convex. So the RIM product line also has a fantastic feature that's universal LED modules. That means both for the RIM 1 and the RIM 3 IP, any LED module on the cabinet includes calibration and it is magnetically attached, so you can pop it off on the front or the rear. However, the key thing with the universal modules is that you can replace it in any position on the cabinet. This is a huge feature for RIM and we're really proud to offer that. All the features that we've just been covering with the RIM 1 before me also are included with the RIM 3 IP. So I've turned the cabinet around. Let's talk about the LED performance on RIM. The RIM 1 and RIM 3 IP include LEDs that are calibrated to the DCI-P3 color space. They have a high grayscale performance at 22-bit plus, and they also have high refresh rate driver ICs at 7680 hertz. This means that they're gonna perform fantastic on camera and any other applications you have for RIM. We are really proud at Chauvet to be offering Novastar's top of the line processor. This is their MX40 Pro. This is running the new Coex VMP mapping software. This is a fantastic product that's gonna pair perfectly with the RIM. This product offers you a totally different experience when you're handling the mapping. You have a fantastic GUI that lets you overlay your mapping your scaling, and your processing all in one window. And it's laid out in a very intuitive manner. I wanna point out one thing. When you're using the MX40 Pro and you look at the initial specs, you're gonna see it has 20 outputs. This initially might seem that it's designed for massive size walls. However, when you're dealing with the larger RIM-1 panels, which are one meter tall by half a meter wide, and you have the HDR10 dialed up, you've got the 12-bit HDMI dialed in, your port capacity equals roughly two to three panels per port. So please don't undersell the RIM uh, panels when paired with the MX40 Pro. It's gonna work really well with it with the 20 port capacity. We're so confident that this is an extremely easy system to use, the new Novastar Coex VMP that the wall that we had set up earlier, I deleted all the mapping and all the scaling data, and we're gonna show you how fast it is to get that up and running. When you open the VMP software, 
Um, select your MX40 Pro processor on the top left. Um, in the source window, you want to dra drag your video input into your canvas. Press your little icon to go full screen and we're done. Moving on to the next icon on the top left is your layout. Your layout uh, will auto populate all of your ports on the bottom. Select the first one, move it into the canvas and just go ahead and move it to the top right. Press and drag and you're good to go. Continue on to your next port. All right, look how easy that was. We're already done. So again, at the top uh, part of the window, um, you would then move on to your correction. This is a fantastic window that lets you easily select um, your seams and do your adjustment of bright or dark lines in between your cabinets and your modules. Uh, when you're done with that, you move on to your processing. This window lets you do all of your color correction and there's some really good performance features here in the VMP platform. Uh, then you move on to your screen settings. This is where you adjust any kind of your, your live camera synchronization. Um, you can do your, your video input bit depth, low latency. You can do your uh, synchronizer, whether it's uh, synchronized to the optic source, chin lock. Um, once you got all that set up, you move on to monitoring. The monitor windows where you detect any kind of errors with your panels or with your processors. And finally, once you're finished all that, Go ahead and move on to your preset and save all this. Save this to a preset so you can activate it next time quickly and easily. I want to show you the scaling performance of the MX40 Pro with the VMP software, how easy it is to do advanced scaling. I've already mapped my panels. You can see them mapped here. But if I go to my source, I have the ability to do multiple layers here. So there's a fantastic internal generator I can click and drag in, scale it to my wall. Um, there are, there is a, a standard uh, video preview that comes with it. You can also load your own test images into this. This is really great to use. Uh, you can also go ahead and drag in uh, the HDMI here. You have the option to do scale to wall, or if you want, you can actually manually grab this and you can place multiple instances of it on your screen. So let's say I wanted uh, dual images, okay, like so. And then I wanted a backdrop. Um, ordinarily for a backdrop, we would take a different video source. But for this example, I'm gonna take the internal generator. All right, I'm gonna drag this into position, scale it to my wall. I'm going to send it to the back. And then I'm gonna set it to uh, a solid color. So first you can see if I black it out, um, and then you can see if I go to a blue color, what we're looking at. So this lets you know how precise and responsive the scaling is in the MX40 Pro. It is fantastic. All right. Um, we also have some other uh, test patterns we can access. Just to give you a rough idea of how powerful it is, we've got three different layers playing right now. It shows a real-time, low-frame uh, preview in the mapping software, and then we're outputting a real-time frame rate on our video panels. I can continue to place more of them here if I wanted to. The maximum layers that this supports is four. So we're not gonna be able to do more than four. Any more than four and you wanna go ahead and use a separate scaler or switcher. So this gives you a rough idea. This is not gonna be ideal for an actual switcher. However, if you needed to take a very wide wall and use multiple video sources to output to the wall, to play one large image from a video source or from a video switcher scaler, this is gonna work really well for you. With the 20 ports in the MX40 Pro, this gives you some really nice uh, high performance walls. I'm Anthony Ciappone and this was Tech Talk. Thanks for watching.